Reapers eluded. Shepard, about 72 hours ago, the reactors at a joint Turin Asari fuel depot went offline. Scans of the station are cold. It's deserted. What happened to the troop station there? Unknown, but no fuel means no fleet presence in this theater. The enemy will operate unchecked. I need you to get in there, find out what's going on, and get those reactors back online. Captain Riley's on site doing preliminary recon. She leads one of our top engineering teams. We'll get to the bottom of this, Admiral. Good. Hack it out. Commander, Corporal Nyrek reporting. Captain Riley is on point waiting for you. How long have you served in this outfit, Corporal? Three tours. Been through thick and thicker. The captain always sees us through.
flood control, but radiation is blocking access. Same situation here. I'll find a way to vent the area. This looks like ventilation control. Should do the trick. Radiation clearing. Console now accessible. Sector is ready. Let's unlock those fuel rods. Initiating restart. Commander, Captain, I'm reading a lot of movement. Headed your way. Incoming! Progress. We've got company of our own, Commander.
Commander, you saved our asses. My team is in your debt. Job well done. Report back to the shuttles. Good work down there, Shepard. Without that depot, the entire theater would be at risk. What are the odds the Reapers will be back? I'm allocating a task force to maintain and defend the facility. If the Reapers come back, we'll be ready. I read Captain Raleigh's report. It says she and her team wouldn't have made it without you. I'm glad I could help. I'll keep you posted on new developments. Hack it out. I'm ready to hit the Reaper base whenever you are, Shepard. Talk to you later, Tally. Sure. Commander? Signal confirmed. this against all known locations and update the map. Then contact the field teams for a progress report. Yes, sir. Oh, Commander Shepard, we've been expecting you. Just a moment. And Hadley, could you gather the Leviathan data for us? Apologies, Commander. The rest of my team is out investigating leads right now. I'm Dr. Garrett Bryson, and this is Task Force Aurora. What's your assignment? Our mandate is to investigate legends, rumors, old stories about the Reapers before anyone knew they existed. Could have used your help three years ago. Yes. If people had paid more attention to your Prothean beacon, we might not be in this war. But now with new information we've uncovered, a breakthrough's near. Hadley, do you have the data? No! This is Commander Shepard. I need C-Sec at my location, now! You shouldn't be here. The darkness can't be breached. Transit records show his name is Derek Hadley. He's worked here for a couple months. Shepard, I monitored a C-Sec alert from this location. Were you harmed? I'm fine. But I could use your help sorting this out, Edie. Take a look through their files. I need to know what this task force was up to. At once. What? I... What's happening? You tell me. I... I was gathering our data when you arrived, and then... It was dark. Cold. 
Like I was someplace else. And then? I don't know. A gun was in my hand. Dr. Bryson, there was a loud noise. That was you shooting him. I didn't do it. It wasn't me. You have to believe that. So someone else pulled that trigger? But I would never do that! Commander, this does resemble reports of indoctrination. Indoctrination? Me? What about that Leviathan Bryson mentioned? How does that tie in? It's some kind of creature. Our field teams have been tracking it. That artifact came in from our researcher, Garneau. He sent an audio log if you want to... Gah! What's wrong? Turn back. What are you talking about? The darkness cannot be breached. Damn it. Get them over to the clinic. See if they can tell us what's wrong with them. Yes, sir. Commander, you'll want to see this. It's an outgoing message from Dr. Bryson to Admiral Hackett. Dr. Bryson, you have an update? Admiral, the Leviathan of Dis that we've been investigating, I think we're really onto something. Give me the brief. About 20 years ago, the Batarians discovered a Reaper corpse that had died in battle. They covered it up and denied it ever existed. But I'm intrigued by the larger implication. What could have killed the Reaper in the first place? Exactly. That's the real Leviathan. It's worth pursuing. Continue your investigation and update me on the progress. There is also a follow-up message from a few weeks later. Admiral, the Reapers are shadowing my field teams as if they're hunting Leviathan themselves. Whatever it is, I believe Leviathan is nothing less than a Reaper killer. Almost an apex predator, and it has them nervous. If we could just find it, imagine the impact on the war. I'm formally requesting assistance in tracking it down. You'll have it. This is now your top priority, Doctor. Find that thing. It appears we were meant to be that assistance. Anything capable of killing a Reaper could do a lot of collateral damage. Yet given the state of this conflict, I believe the saying, the enemy of my enemy is my friend, may be relevant. But we won't know unless we can find it. Bryson's assistant did say they recently received a log from their field researcher. It may yield more information. This must be the artifact the assistant mentioned. And here's the log. Dr. Bryson, it's Garneau. I'm sending you an artifact I found. About the only thing I found there, in fact. Maybe it's nothing, but... I'd swear Leviathan came through here. I'm gonna crunch some numbers. Burn up the rest of this project travel allowance. Maybe I can project our Reaper killer's movements. I'll check in when I get to the next site. Garneau appears to be our best lead to track Leviathan. But he does not stay to destination. Let's focus on what he does say, then. He mentioned extrapolating Leviathan's path. And crunching numbers. He wasn't flying blind. He had data. A significant amount of data, judging by this office. So how do we narrow it down? Bryson and his colleagues evidently used a galaxy map search program in their hunt for Leviathan. It may help us locate Garneau. Does this tell us where Garneau went? No, but we may be able to narrow down his location if we find clues he was using in his search for Leviathan. These are all murders in which the accused lacked a known motive and claimed memory loss. Just like Bryson's assistant. You think Garneau was following a trail of blackout crimes? It is possible. We need to find data matching dates and locations for crimes of this nature. Here's the time and date chart for the crimes. Can you filter for murders where the killer claimed memory loss? Adding the search filter, you may examine the results on the Galaxy Map program. Blackout crimes? No results. Some of our search parameters may be irrelevant.
Bryson was tracking unexplained creature sightings. Bryson was not merely tracking sightings. He was attempting to extrapolate a course. And Garneau could have been following that course. Edie, can you add a search filter for systems along that projected path? Adding this search filter to the galaxy map. Meteorite fragment, maybe? He was studying it as an object of importance. Meteorite sample. With traces of element zero. Would Leviathan need Ezo? While it is not consumed as fuel during FTL travel, element zero will decay after several centuries of active use. If Leviathan is old enough, it would need to replenish its supplies. Okay. Can you give me a search filter for locations with element zero? Adding the search filter now. Looks like data on the Rachni. March 7th, 2186. I'm looking at the Rachni. Their movements during the Rachni Wars suggest alien influence. But the timing is wrong. And Rachni weren't implanted with Reaper tech. What if Leviathan was preparing the Rachni to fight the Reapers? What do you think, Edie? It is possible that Bryson's team is using ancient Rachni fleet activity to find Leviathan. We saw a data pad containing data on Rachni movements earlier. It may be relevant. By Anne Bryson. Age 9. This does not seem relevant at the moment. Sovereign, vanguard of our destruction. How's that working out for you, big guy? Sir, this is Bryson. We know the Reapers are after Leviathan. Studying Reaper hunting patterns could be vital to finding it. That data is classified top secret, Dr. Bryson. If it falls into the wrong hands... It won't. The data's encrypted. I'll keep the decryption key safe. Close to my heart. Close to his heart? What the hell does that mean? The Reaper fleet activity is encrypted, per Bryson's statement in the log. He said he was keeping the decryption key close to his heart. Another piece of Anne Bryson's childhood art. Wait a minute. Well, take a look at that. I can use these numbers to construct a decryption key. All right, let's get back to the data pad we found earlier. Dr. Bryson, per your request, I'm clearing Task Force Aurora for intercepted Batarian communications regarding the Leviathan of Dis. Commander, the Dreadnought is in custody, but the Solarians may have surveillance footage. Our ambassador will issue a full denial. Give me your preliminary analysis. Several million years old, at least. And its technology outstrips anything on the Council. Excellent. Our scientists will work day and night to bring its secrets to the hegemony. One concern, Commander. The real Leviathan of Dis, the thing that destroyed the ship, is still out there. Unaccounted for. Irrelevant. The ship is our priority. And as far as the rest of the galaxy is concerned, there is no Leviathan of Dis. There never was.
Element Zero deposits. No results. Some of our search parameters may be irrelevant. Based on the search results, Garno is in one of these five systems. I have marked the Normandy map with possible locations. We can leave now, unless you wish to further narrow the search. Alien sightings. Three possibilities. Five possible systems. Blackout crimes? No results. Some of our search parameters may be irrelevant. Element Zero deposits. No results. Some of our search parameters may be irrelevant. Five possible systems. The Rachni data. Can you add a cross-reference for locations of sightings? Adding it now. Decryption complete. Analyzing data. These movements do not match the standard invasion pattern. The Reapers are searching for something. And I'll bet Garneau used this intel. Can you make a search filter for it? Doing so now. Reaper activity? Three possibilities. Rachni activity. No results. Some of our search parameters may be irrelevant. Alien sightings. No results. Some of our search parameters may be irrelevant. Activity. No results. 
Some of our search parameters may be irrelevant. Element Zero deposits. No results. Some of our search parameters may be irrelevant. Blackout crimes? No results. Some of our search parameters may be irrelevant. Three possibilities. Five possible systems. Element Zero deposits. Three possibilities. I've got Admiral Anderson on the QEC. Patching him through to you now. Shepard. Admiral. How are you holding up? Day by day, Commander. Yeah. Hackett sent me a message about this apartment. I want you to have it. Take it off my hands. Are you serious? You need a place that's yours. Somewhere to recharge. Clear your head. Kaylee wanted us to settle down there. Thing is, the longer I'm on Earth, the less I want to leave. And I want as few loose ends out there as possible. Like I said, you'd be doing me a favor. That's very generous. It's practical. We need you in the best shape possible. Rested. Focused. If you say so. Thank you. And make yourself at home, dammit. It's yours now. I'm sure I can manage. Okay, good. Been meaning to do that for a while. I'll talk to you soon. Be careful out there, Anderson. You too, Shepard. You never asked me about this, but... My wife just called. My ex-wife. Nobody likes to talk about the toll that long months apart can have on military relationships. She wasn't military. She couldn't handle it. You but it's not even about this. military and non-military, dammit. It's... Space flight. Space flight. Finding the mass relays, miracles of engineering. Human imagination rising to meet our desires. We pay a price for that curiosity, that drive. Our relationships suffer. People we love suffer, but that's reality, and it's worth the cost. I must have thought it was. I guess I still do. In the end, you just have to hope you made the right. The Normandy? A brand new ship. My ship. You don't forget that moment. The first time you're standing there, 
The whole crew looking to you for direction. Unforgettable. I'd led men and women before that. Seen a lot of combat already. Always managed to find my way home in one piece. To do that a few times, you begin to think you know better than the next guy. Maybe you do, I don't know. But if you're lucky, really lucky, you find yourself on a good ship, in front of a good crew. A crew you can trust with your life. Gifted. Disciplined. Brave. All of them. Eager to set sail into the endless black ocean. I still remember my exo asking what my orders were. Shepard, I said. Let's see what we can find. Embarrassing moment? <laughs> I've got more of those than anyone will ever know. Only way to learn something. But if I had to pick one to share... I had just gotten promoted to N7. Full of myself. King of the castle. Found myself buying drinks for undesirables in some rundown bar in the wards. They... toasted my recent promotion. Hell, they would have toasted Batarian slavers if it had got them more drinks. About the time my money ran out, my new friends turned on me. I was outnumbered. Things didn't look good. My plan to get out of there involved lots of punching. Well, that worked for a while. Then a table hit me. Or I fell down. When I came to, I saw a Salarian putting the rest of the troublemakers down. A Salarian? Move like a damn cat, I swear. When everybody was out cold, or running. He walked over and helped me up. N7, he asked. Yes, sir, I replied. He looked over my collection of unconscious friends, nodding. Not bad, human, he said. Then he walked away. I had met my first specter. Learned an important lesson that day. No matter how good you think you are, there's always somebody quicker 
faster. And a hell of a lot smarter than you just around the corner. That little lesson's kept me alive more than once since then.
50 by the time they had me. My mother worked shifts, so my father would often take me to the base. While he worked, I watched transport ships and fighters take off. Worked his whole life around space travel, my father. But he never left Earth. Not for a day. He was a good man. But that's just a side note. Don't put that in. Who is it, Kaylee? Oh, yes, I need to take that. I hope this is what you're after. I'll give you the more interesting N7 stuff next time. The Turians. Hmm. Um, uh, I might not always see eye to eye with the politics and the individual, but I have a great respect for the Turian military. Any Alliance soldier lucky enough to take part in their training programs will certainly be better for it. Their precision, skill, and discipline come together in a way that's second to none. Not that I'm faulting our own people or training. It's just that after fighting Torians in the first contact war, years later, I had the opportunity to observe and train on Palavan. It was a turning point for me. And I would encourage any soldier to try it. It's a unique experience to put yourself in the squad of a Torian commander. My commander was an uncompromising bastard named Bartox Oryx. If you can find him, just ask how the platoon I commanded was trounced in his strategy game. Humbly. But I've used what I learned that day many times. The xenophobes will have their say. But I think it's vital that we do more of this kind of cross-species training. There you go. <laughs> and if you do find General Oryx, let me know. I owe him money. SSV Normandy, the Normandy SR-1. As commander of the Tokyo, I was consulted on the Normandy's design and on board for her initial training exercises. The average person probably doesn't know that the Normandy was a joint project with the Torians. Acting CO, Eli Zander, was no diplomat. She ran out of patience with Torian posturing and politicking during construction. The chief architect of the Drive Corps, Octavio Tatum, and his team of Torian engineers were in the CIC for final training exercises. Tempers flared when Xander pushed the limits of the stealth system, waiting to vent the IES well past what Tatum was comfortable with. I tried to calm the situation, but it still ended with the Torian scientists in shackles and a human Torian fistfight at Cora's den later. Funny now. When I first laid eyes on the Normandy, she was the most beautiful thing I'd ever seen. Day after that training run, Admiral Wright found me on the bridge. She's yours, he said. Can't trust her to Xander. Send me a list of crew from the Tokyo you'd like, and prep for your first mission. Short command, thanks to Saren. Still, one of the highlights of a long career.
Ah, Commander Shepard, your table is ready. Good evening. Would the gentleman care for a drink? Maybe later. I'm meeting a friend. Very good. Enjoy your evening. Hey, Shepard. Not bad, huh? The sushi place is serious. Like, French guy at the door serious. Only had to save the galaxy twice to get a table here. You seen the line outside? But here I am, drink in hand. Best pilot in the universe, and a rock star. <laughs> Any news from the Normandy? Ah, oh, you know, maintenance stuff. It's hard knowing a bunch of strangers are poking around in my ship. I, I mean, your ship. The best thing we can do right now is Parker and let the techs do their work. <sighs> yeah, you're right. Maybe an oil change. Space tire rotation. Right. Trust me, it'll do her some good. Oh, I trust you. Not sure about those shifty aerospace engineers. Always stealing the silverware. Let someone else do the work for once. Hackett's orders. You're on shore leave. Yeah, whether we like it or not. I'm sure you'll manage. I may need a drink that comes with an umbrella. I'm the first human specter. I'll get you two umbrellas. Awesome use of power, boss. So, your email said it was important? My email? I'm here because I got a message from you. The hell? I didn't send anything. Commander! Excuse me, sorry. Nine's business. Commander, this is urgent! I don't think that's the umbrella lady. Commander Shepard, I'm staff analyst Maya Brooks. Alliance, excuse me. Alliance Intelligence. There are people trying to kill you. Yeah, I think he's aware of that. Uh, no, I don't mean Cerberus and the Reapers. I mean other people. New people. They're... It's... <sighs> Someone is hacking your account. Comm channels, personal records. They're targeting you specifically. Targeting me? What do they want? The intel isn't definitive yet. Last time, I guess without definitive intel, we almost landed troops on a gas giant, which is bad. Hang on, Brooks. Take a breath. <sighs> From the top, what do you know? Excuse me, you don't have a reservation. Stop! Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight's performance is brought to you by Random Acts of Violence. Stay there. I'm coming. Joker? Ow, my pancreas. Hey! Damn it. Got one, sir! Find the crew. I'm going after her. Find the crew. Got it. Hey! <clears throat> oh, oh. Did you use me as bait? Go. You used me as bait! Did you see that? Savior of the city. Brooks! Hang on! Stay down! Staying down! 
Yep. Feeling good. Brooks, you got hit. I know! I used Medigel. A lot of it. Um, all of it, actually. And now everything is a little bit bouncy. I think you used too much. So, can I help with anything? Alert C-Sec. I'll look for a way out. Brooks, I see some sky cars across the gap. Maybe a landing pad. I'm checking the area. Transportation, no food, no laundry. Ah, oh, it's a sky car lot. Cision Motors. Get a shuttle over there. I'll find a way across. Okay, right. So, um, it turns out CSEC has the whole area locked down. It's gonna be a tiny bit tricky to get you a shuttle. Keep at it, Brooks. Except for me. It's hacked. That's probably how they found you. Who are these guys? I don't know. But they really don't seem to like you. Yeah. I'm sensing that. Don't mind me. Fine. Might need a little backup. Good to hear. Things are a little dicey. I will attempt to register. Surprise. Brooks, found a way across. It's locked down. Right, because of the, uh, lockdown. Uh, can you get through? I'll try to override. C-Tac authorization required. Confirming 
damn it. What's going on? I heard that from here. It's all under control. I'm detecting multiple alarms across the boards. What's the situation? Thought I'd make things more interesting. I see. Did you sustain cranial damage in the fall, Commander? They have guns and don't like me. That doesn't narrow it down much. Commander, it would really be great if you could stay off the comm. Hey, they called me. Understood. Okay. Brooks over. No, out. B uh, Brooks out. Oh, over and out. Brooks. Oh, damn it. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm good. The landing pad's right over there, but it's behind a locked gate. Let's look for a control panel. By the way, nice outfit. Control panel, right. Did you really fall through a fish tank? We'll talk about it later. Do you remember back when you used to rescue me in the wards? We'll talk about it later.
Stand back. Wait. Could you please open the gate? I could have done that. Rex? What are you doing here? Ah, just butting heads with the council over Krogan expansion. Shepard, we got a way out of here. Rex, I'm a professional. It's not a yes. It's not a no. Joker, you lost our ride. Where are you? On my way. Picked up Brooks. Figured you'd have a few questions. Good call. Good to be back. Yeah! Commander, did C-Sec find you? Are you okay? Yes and no. Merc's in a C-Sec shuttle. What? A little busy right now. Right, sorry. We'll be there soon. Great place to fight in! Lots to destroy! There, he's going! Approaching your position, Commander. Just following the gunfire. Copy that. Sorry I'm late. Had to take the scenic route. Scenic route? We nearly crashed four times. Where the hell did you learn to drive? And Brooks says hi. <laughs> Someone want to tell me what's going on here? Who were those mercenaries? They were heavily armed and had access to C-Sec shuttles. I don't know. I've never seen them before. I can't believe you survived all that. They had guns. And grenades. And those drone things. Brooks, it's okay. I know this is a lot to deal with. I got shot. I got medigel, but still, I took a desk job explicitly to not get shot. And you killed a hundred guys with a pistol! Well, yes. That did happen. I mean, who does that? Well, you, I guess. But besides you, they said the Medigel might make me jumpy. <laughs> Do I seem jumpy? How did you get mixed up in this? I monitored data for Alliance Intel to prevent fraud and hacking of officer IDs. Like uh, someone using an Admiral's Pass to get into a nightclub on the Citadel when that Admiral is fighting on Tichanka. I wrote a tracking program. It's really neat. I named it Mr. Biscuits, after my cat. Brooks. Right, sorry. Anyway, Mr. Bis... Uh, my program detected a breach in your classified files. 
Soon, everything we had on you was compromised. Personnel files, mission reports, everything. Since when does hacking personnel records involve heavy weapon fire? Think of what criminals could do if they had Shepard's military access codes. Or Spectre codes, even. Explains why they need you dead, Shepard. Nothing to stop them till the damage is done. Okay. Let's figure out who they are and shut them down. Ideas? Hmm. What about the pistol you picked up? For such a tiny thing, it packs a punch. Never seen anything like it before. Let me see it. I might be able to help. Glyph. I'll begin collating relevant intel for review, Dr. Tassoni. Liara? Shepard, I'm relieved to see you're in one piece. A shame about the sushi place, though. It was a favorite. I hear that. All right, the armor's on point. What about the rest of the crew? Yeah, what about those slackers? Joker, you've been busy. I found some folks who actually like being shot at. Permission to come aboard, Shepard? Okay, later, when this is over and everything is settled, we are gonna talk about this bait thing. Glad Liara's on this. If anybody can sift through a mountain of boring stuff to find that one critical clue, it's her. The restaurant attack has made the news. Civilian casualties seem to have been restricted to... fish. Nothing beats having a Krogan bodyguard, huh? Had a buddy like that once. Uh, no, not so much a buddy, really. More of a prisoner who helped us. <laughs> it's a long story, man. Anyway, Brooke, she's kind of cute. Think she's on the market? So, what was it, Shepard? Five minutes before someone started shooting at you? On the other hand, we get this cool secret hideout to hang out in. Unless the bad guys look in the window. I'm glad you made it out of that ambush, okay? None of us saw that coming. Shepard, I've found something. We can gather the team whenever you're ready. I've made some progress. Would you like me to call the meeting? Do it. We have a lead. I called in some favors to run a trace on the gun. It led me to a casino owner named Elijah Khan. He's been suspected of using his profits to smuggle weapons onto the Citadel. Immediately after the attempt on Shepard's life, Khan made an interesting call. I'm cutting you off. I'm returning your down payment now. What's the problem? Turn on a vid screen. When I sell a gun, I don't want it showing up on the nightly news. It won't be linked to me. Save it. Our association is terminated. And if you even think of coming after me, I've got info on you ready for prime time. So you ponder that. Con out. So that's our identity thief. Looks like he's got an ID disguiser. Those things are a pain in the ass to get around. Khan didn't sound friendly to whoever that voice was. Maybe he'd pass on that info to us. That would take some extremely smooth talking. If he sees you, he'll probably assume you're looking for revenge. The casino has a panic room. Chances are he'll have gone to ground there. Edie can give us programs to hack the door, but the cameras and guards complicate things. Yeah. Khan could disappear. Or worse, if his guards ever open fire, normal people could get hit. I did. She's right. We can't risk spooking him. We go in quiet. Small team. No gunplay. Dr. Tassoni, this evening the casino will be hosting a charity event to assist war refugees. Purchase some tickets, Glyph. Then call up a layout of the building. Score! So, how close can you get? You don't usually put a back door in a panic room. This air shaft bypasses the security gate and ends up in storage. From there, the panic room's door camera can be disabled. Uh, too convenient. There's gonna be alarms all over that shaft. 
I believe I have some countermeasures that may help. I'll know more once we're inside. Who will go in this shaft? They need to be small in size. Yeah, that's not me. Too many snacks of roast veran leg. I suspect my suit's built-in tech would be picked up by security sensors. My presence in the casino would arouse suspicion. Mechs are not allowed, since they can have cheating software. What you need is somebody trained in zero emissions tech. No electronics, no metal, just undetectable polymers. We had a course back at op -Int, disabling a bomb with these little tweezers. See, the bomb was filled with shaving cream. All right, you're in. What? No! What? You said it yourself. We've all got too much tech. But... <laughs> I managed to get shot just coming to talk to you. Now I'm supposed to hack my way into a safe room? We'll be backing you up. The second you hit something you can't handle, we'll cover you. If that's settled, it looks like there's one last hurdle to get us inside. Which is? Black tie required. You're looking good. Feels a little light without body armor, but it's soft to touch. Good to know. How are you so calm? Well, you did run under a reaper while it fought a Thresha Maw, so this is no big deal for you. Relax, Brooks. Right. Okay. On it. I'll get to the ventilation shaft. Wish me luck. Liara, you have any input? I'm here, Shepard. Edie and I will keep in contact in case we're needed. Khan has a lot of surveillance set up. I'd mingle with the guests if you want to look normal. Okay, Tally. Time to meet the riffraff. Thank you. 